uh, Damon Jackson, just put on a grappling clinic, but at the same time, they have put more of a emphasis. You know, we've talked about there not really being rule criteria, but I found some stuff. I got to do some more research, but it looks like there has been some some change and there is some language that's weighted towards damage, which I have a problem with, <laughs> you know, because you can't you can't really judge damage unless someone if there's a knockdown, that's damage. If, if there's a cut, maybe you count that as damage, an intentional cut, like an intentional elbow cut somebody. If you I don't know if you <laughs> pop somebody's arm in a submission but they don't tap and they keep fighting and there's damage there that will be like real damage. Like it's not just an opinion at that point. If you're awaiting damage, who's, who's to say what, what is damaging? You know, I've been hit by guys that and it didn't hurt at all, but it doesn't mean that the crowd or other people watching think that it hurts. So who's to say what damage is? Is it just a significant strike? Because they're also saying that it's damage over volume. So even if you, if you outstruck your opponent 100 strikes to, to 50 strikes, but their strikes were more damaging, theirs would count for more. That's still really confusing to how, how does somebody judge that? How, does, how do you get across the board everybody views that the same? I, think that's, I don't think that's possible with damage. Like a takedown, you know what a takedown is. You know what a guard pass is. You could even um, give points for like a catch. You know, you lock the arm bar up, you lock the Kimura up, you lock the choke in, you know, even if that was weighted somehow, at least that's like a, a check to check the mark. But if you're like, look, that was damaged. I was like, ah, I don't think it was very damaging. <sighs> like who's right. That's, I don't know. I think it's the wrong direction. What they really want to say, and they're afraid to say it is they really want to say excitement, which guy was more exciting. That's really what they want to say. That's really what this is about. It's not about who the best fighter is. That's all just cover to allow them to call the sport and uh, fly onto the radar. But it's about excitement. Who's the most exciting fighter? That was that's all. Who was the most exciting guy in the fight? That's who they want to win. Gotta start letting the crowd pick, I guess. <laughs> you know, like how do you judge that? <laughs>